Hey guys, it's Kraus. I thought I would show you what me and Falcon have been working on for the past uh, two weeks or so. Uh, we're making a new co-op framework that's going to completely change the way co-ops are played at UO. And I um, thought I would share it with you guys. So the premise behind this framework is that both sides, Op4 and Blue4, both have uh, commanders, but it's not a co-TVT. Pretty much the Op4 commander um, commands and creates a maneuver plan for his forces and every time you play it's going to be completely different because of that. The Blue Four also has a commander and his job is to command up to a company of friendly AI. So at the map screen it, you know it's completely different the whole process of play. Um, at the map screen you're going to be able to see friendly forces and then deploy them give them orders and then they'll execute those orders once the mission starts so you can see uh, what we have here is a solid blue box and a blue outline box and these are placeholder graphics but uh, this is what we're using right now for a mock-up the dark blue box is a deployment area and that's where you can deploy your initial forces and the outline blue box is a limit of advance where is the where uh, you can only issue orders to AI within that box. Um, so for instance, what you would do is, is you have your AI forces there on the map as markers. And they're a lot easier to see uh, when we lower the uh, saturation on this box a bit. But uh, you select it by left clicking and then you can use alt click to deploy that force. So this is a fourth platoon from Bravo Company. It's a tank platoon. Use all click to teleport them around and then you can then uh, shift click to give the unit orders. And if you hold down shift click and then you click on the waypoints, you can change the type of waypoint. So we have march, assault, maneuver, dismount, ambush, defend, support, Wait Alpha, so Wait Alpha, Wait Bravo, these are different uh, staged commands, so it's sort of like Rainbow Six, the old school Rainbow Six is where you made a plan beforehand and then you could say like Go Alpha, Go Bravo um, for a staged movement, so that's implemented. There's also the ability to delay, give a delay order, and patrol. Now if you don't like a waypoint, you can delete it by holding down Alt Shift and then clicking. And the types of orders vary. So, for instance, this is a this is a infantry section. If I give them orders, they have they have an order which the vehicles do not have, which is entrench. Entrench will have the infantry enter into trenches, occupy buildings, and if there's no buildings or trenches nearby, they'll do a patrol. So. Um, that's just how the orders are different. Um, another feature is we have all sorts of special support for the commanders. So right now we just have artillery, we have fire missions scripted in. And we can see a fire mission here. So this is a BM-21 Alpha Barrage. It has a start point and an end point. If you deploy these now on the map, they're going to be deployed anywhere. If you deploy them now on the map, then they're considered preparatory fires and they'll be you can then execute them in game with no delay They'll the rounds will immediately come down you know just with the time of flight so 30 seconds 45 seconds and you're gonna have the fire mission um, hitting so that's the advantage of doing that downside is you can't move it around once the mission starts then you have on-call missions and the way you make an on-call mission is that you select it and then you deploy it into this green box and that designates it as on call now when the mission starts you can deploy them anywhere and then call them in the downside being it takes a lot longer and we realistically simulate um, things like for instance the the NATO doctrine for calling in fire support is much quicker than the Russian doctrine so if you have an on-call fire as a NATO force, then it's going to come in a lot quicker, about three minutes versus about seven minutes for the Russians. And we have all sorts of fire missions. Um, this is a 2S1 Alpha, which is basically the Russian version of the M109. 
and we can see it's an HE mission and we're in a circular pattern. You can change the type of fire mission by shift clicking on it. So it's now a linear fire mission. And uh, the end point of the mission will determine you know, where the line goes. So if I were to fire this in game, it would start here and then come down to the southwest. Um, we also implemented these BM-21 barrages. These are like grid destruction missions. They actually will destroy an entire grid, 1,000 meter by 1,000 meter area. It's really cool, and I'm going to show you guys that um, in a second. I'm going to put these tanks in the middle of the... Uh Put this tank platoon in the middle of the barrage so they can we can see that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and get in game. So when you first get into the game, the units won't immediately start moving. You have to give them an order to initiate movement. And then there's also abilities to um, have fit, uh, phase movement by uh, an orders interface that we've coded into the game. So you can see here there's battle tracking, all your platoons and units are deployed on the map. Um, if I wanted to have them begin movement, I would just go, I'd use my self interact, go to task the units. Here's all the go codes for phases, and there's also execute plan, which will start everything. Start everything into movement. We can see we have, I have a platoon of martyrs here, third platoon of Bravo Company. They're starting their little maneuver plan. Might be able to see them. Uh, nope, they pretty much drove out of view already. Fine. So how you use artillery is pretty cool. Um, so the way you do it is you just hold down Alt Shift and then you click, and then the fires will immediately start coming in. That one's pretty far, so I don't know if we'll be able to see it from here. Should be the northwest. That one's pretty far out. Can't really see it from here. That being said, what we will see is this barrage mission that I'm about to call in. It's a massive area of effect. Extremely disruptive. And you'll see it creep towards us. The death begin. Thank you guys on what we've been working on and uh, enjoy. Yeah. 